other side. On record. <clears throat> All right. I'd like to call the, to order the Lincoln City Budget Committee. Thank you, sir. Uh, today is Monday, June 10th. The time is now 545. Um, may we have a roll call, please? Anderson? Yes. Armstrong? Here. Casper? Here. Harlan? Here. Hinton? Hoagland? Here. Honebaum? Here. Coos? Here. Mark? Here. Norakis? Yes. Oxenholt? Here. Parsons? Here. Starmer? Here. And Walke? Here. Thank you all very much for joining me this evening for uh, one last meeting. Uh, I forgot, I apologize, to do the most important thing, which was uh, approve this budget and recommend to city council, so please forgive me. Um, in addition to that, I have a statement that um, I would like to read from Ms. Hinton, as she is not here, um, pertaining to the last meeting. Uh, it is as follows. Uh, Ms. Hinton is unable to join, uh, but the budget manager, Ron Chandler, has done an excellent job of developing a new approach, formatting, and, his, and the presentation of this year's budget. It is easier to understand and to find specific items. His budget message is clear, and the added graphics and bullet points help in the understanding of, of how he sees the budget being used throughout the next fiscal year. Second item is City Council has worked with him and staff over the last three years to make sure the important items in the budget are protected, as well as the reserve, which all cities should have. Included in this work, the Council has asked the major purchases be planned for and spread out over a number of years so they could be purchased outright rather than carrying a lease to buy option, or added expense, I'm sorry. Although two items did not get stated, started early enough, the Budget Committee addressed that by recommending that one be purchased outright and one be purchased through lease to own. I'm happy that the approach the Council has asked for will be followed in the future where you will see five to ten years of reserve for a high cost item. And lastly, Ms. Hinton says, if I were with you, I would vote to approve the budget as is and move it to council with the recommendation, recommendation that they do the same. So thank you, Ms. Hinton, for your letter. Um, I'd just like to see if um, maybe have a discussion prior to the motion to adopt the budget. So I'd just like to ask fellow committee members, is there anything anyone would like to say? All right. Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. It, will Ms. Hinton be calling in with no, a vote? Uh, Ms. Hinton is n n uh, only if needed. Uh, we, will, we will be asking her to call in, but we, as is, have a quorum, so she will not be uh, calling in nor voting for this. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Hoagland. Yes, sir. I would like to express it's uh, been an honor to be on the Budget Committee. I have a little consternation with this year's uh, Budget Committee meetings. Over the process, I was, uh, when, well, uh, where to start? Oregon Statute um, 294.414, which, which uh, mandates what the budget committee is shaped like, does not necessarily specify exactly why they created that shape of half community members and half governing body members. But I think it's clear to infer from that is that there needs to be input from the community as well as from the government, governing body. When um, that is um, cut short, the input from the community is cut short because of um, communications that take place between city government and other people, and there's a, there's a shortcut. I think that's inappropriate. I also think it's inappropriate when I'm told flat out by one of the council members that it doesn't matter what new things we bring forward if it's not on the council's preset agenda that it's not going to pass in the budget committee, and I think that's entirely inappropriate as well. Thank you for your, your comment. Appreciate that. Thank you. Anybody else have anything to say? All right. I am looking for a motion to approve the fiscal year 2019-2020 uh, budget as amended. Mr. Hoagland, I move we approve the budget and and recommend a due pass to council. Thank you. There's a motion. We have a second. Second. And a second by Ms. Walkie. We have a discussion for this motion. Right, hearing none, may we have a roll call, please, Ms. Steer. Armstrong? Yes. Casper? Yes. Harlan? Yes. Hoagland? Yes. Honebaum? Yes. Coos? Yes. Mark? Yes. Norikus? Yes. Oxenholt? Yes. Parsons? Yes. Starmer? Yes. Walkie? Yes. And Anderson? Yes. Motion carries. 
Thank you all very much. And again, we have letter D, which is for comments from budget committee members. Mr. Um, Humbaum, thank you for your comment. And I'd just like to ask one more time, any other comments from could, any other? Could I add, I, I wanted to add an apology as well for making, <laughs> making all of you come out here again tonight. I've been doing this a number of years and should have remembered um, that last final budget. But um, so. I missed you guys. So I just want to see you one more time. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I really appreciate it, and thank you all. Serious, sincerely, thank you all for your time and consideration for this year's budget. Uh, this meeting is adjourned. Yeah. Okay, go home. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for spending time with us.